There are things that simply cannot be done to this building. This is a historic landmark. Tell the people what's in this seafood salad. Mermaid meat. I love Okay, it's Cohen's dedication. Cohen's from West Philly, and it's his dedication to this spot that's made it to develop into something beautiful for the whole neighborhood. But man, tell us the whole tell us the whole story, man. Yeah, so uh, it started like around this time last year. Uh, I came across this park, and it was just deserted. Last year, that, yeah. So this is new, new. This is new. All of this is new. This has been up here for about maybe four months. Wow. wow. So. Um, we're not, we're not like, this isn't ran by the city. It's, the city property wasn't ran by the city. So um, I operate out here. So yeah. um, um, I don't get paid to do none of this. I do this out of my own. Tell, tell us, you just told me what you what you do to pay the bills. Yeah, so uh, I'm a surgical first assist. I specialize in uh, plastic surgery and uh, transgender reassignment. Okay. So, um, you know, I work all over the city. I work, like, you know, in private surgery centers and stuff like that. And, you know, we just basically love to give education first back to our people about, you know, if you want to take that route and go into surgery, whether it's cosmetics or anything. Like, my mom got stage four ovarian cancer. Okay. So she just had surgery. You know what I mean? To explain out and everything. So um, I'm happy that I'm able to kind of share that with the people. You got to make yourself vulnerable for people to be able to relate to. So that's what I usually do. So um, how, this, how, how, how did this become? So you saw, I got to, you know, you saw a, basically a so park. So what was, was this? What yeah. was it before yeah, you? Yeah, so it, it, so it was a park here. Okay. But um, it was deserted. None of this stuff was up here. It was just dirt. And so how did you get it? How did you come up with the idea to get it going? And then so, what you do? I just used my own money to do it. <laughs> I, just, I came in here, bust open the doors, make them give me a key. And, and <laughs> Seriously. Um, I love I was, that, I was man. In, uh, Kelly Clarkson, uh, Access Hollywood. Um, we got refrigerators in there that Will Smith's sister gave me, like, refrigerator uh, freezers. Um, as you can see, I own, like, over the out for free. Nobody pays for nothing. Wow. See, because everybody that everybody would tell me they was like, oh, you gotta see the skate park. So that was so that wasn't even there either. So though. that was there, but that was the only thing. It was like so that, that, that I put and in it five was, years ago. Yeah. Everything else in here was, was yeah. nothing. So we had a uh, trap and paint uh, session where we painted the whole building black. As yeah. you can see, yeah. you know, we're not professionals, but you know, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's yeah. beautiful. So um with that that sparked uh you know a lot of news presence in the city um basically built this in four months. Wow. They, they, they started the groundbreaking that next day. So just showed wow. up on the news. So wow. um, this is new and we average about maybe like three to five hundred people a day. And wow. I feed them all. So yeah. twenty boxes of pizza cost a hundred dollars from little season. Right? A hundred pretzels cost thirty eight dollars. Right? Imagine if it was fourteen more of me. Yeah. We'd feed everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like I, I like to put it like um I don't have a title, like I'm not the mayor, I'm not a congressman, I'm not a councilman, I'm a regular person. So if people see a regular person with no title doing this, you can do it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's what I try to do, man. I just try to make myself um vulnerable and approachable to, to these kids, man, and people come out and How old you know, they here. Uh, I'll be 34 next month. Yeah. So uh, my son is, I got an older son, he's 16. My youngest is uh, one turning two next month. So I got a lot of kids, man. Yeah. So um, I, I try to build a city inside of the community. Yeah. So uh, we got a young lady, uh, she does Zumba. So we're going to be doing a free Zumba class here in the little. I saw sisters over here doing art. Yes, you know? Power of Paint. Yeah, another nonprofit that's, that's not being funded. So yeah. we, we all just come together and, you know, just create a city inside of this park. Yeah. People come into these doors or they through this gate. They don't got nothing to worry about. There's no yeah. violence, there's no nothing. These types of hubs or how you stop violence from happening in the first place. Like there's, police mainly respond to violence after it's already happened. This is a place for people to come and love and hope and fun and let their guard down and it's a place of peace. Yeah, absolutely. But there's only one park like this in all of Philadelphia that's like this. Mm -hmm. And so it's this like yeah. I, 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 listen we don't have no trash cans the city the city don't give us trash cans they don't do anything i buy these bags as you can see i'll play the barney song right now everybody know to clean up 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's just like, you know, parents come here and they bring their kids, man. It's, but it's, it's, it's community it's, life. I feel Real a sense of responsibility, yeah. man. And, and I think that, one, like, if, I, if somebody say, hey, man, what do you need? I mean, we can never run out of need water. We never get enough of water. We never get enough of snacks. At the same time, I need more men. Yeah. I need more men here. Yeah. Because it'll be me and it'll be like 30 women and kids. And I can't protect them all. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. they need to see examples of people doing stuff. All the another, brothers over here. Yeah. yeah. Another reason why I have uh, free vending is so people can bring their kids out. You know what I mean? Like, and there's families out here right now. Yeah. That, like, a little girl is watching her dad make money cooking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what type of talking points we go, they go home with? Yeah. That's blessings that we don't see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, dad. Like, you know, you, you made that sale today. The, the quick sales we see is on the corners. City just gave you the control of the park at this point? Yeah, basically because, I mean, it, it's, it's easier to, to, to go, you know, with something, and uh, especially that's good, than to go against it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm having all of this success, and I'm one person. You know, I know a lot of people probably don't, don't that's in power, don't like it. Like, how is this guy generating all of this trust in the people? Because I'm making myself vulnerable it's and, and relatable. Too. You're consistent. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm meeting these parents. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not doing it for TV. Like, I'm not that, that oh, type of that. guy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing like, and they know that. You know what I'm saying? Those kids over there, if I told them to come help right now, they would. They're actually waiting for me to tell them. Yeah. Like, Mr. Cohen, can I work today? Like, nah, you're going to be a kid today. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. So. But it's teaching them work ethic for the long term. Exactly. It, it, it's teaching them to actually just be a part and, and, and love something that you want to be a part of because if they don't pick that up if i don't pick that up then you didn't pick up how late are you here how late is everybody here sometimes i'm here till like two in the morning cleaning up sometimes oh, wow. yeah sometimes i'm here like two in the morning but how long can people come and get the skates like until all, all night or yeah i mean sometimes like i'll end it like at nine o'clock eight yeah. o'clock respectfully mm -hmm. because you know i'll be like hey it's eight o'clock if your parents ain't here you gotta go home you know what i mean and i and yeah. their parents called me like hey can you tell, you know, Cameron to come home at seven o'clock? Cool, no problem. Cameron, go home at seven o'clock. Let me know when you get in the house. There's no title person that's doing this. Those it should encourage everybody else. Change, yeah. Excuse me? Those are the people who make the biggest change though. Exactly. Nobody knew Dr. King one day. Exactly. You know? And that's the thing, like I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be wealthy. I'm not trying to be wealthy by uh, monetary or anything like that. I want to be Dr. King wealthy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Malcolm X, like when they talk, people listen. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh yeah, that's just such and such. Oh, he's just talking that. No. You know what I mean? I'd rather be wealthy, you know, with my words. That's powerful. You know what I'm saying? That's powerful. This what This what my media director does. <laughs> You dizzy? <laughs> Go get up. <laughs> the community is with this. Like I, I, I don't even understand this idea of. There are mayors that wish you guys yeah. were in that city. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That wish that somebody would take the initiative in a park that you know wasn't servicing the community mm. you know mm -hmm. and so the, whoever it is this is the mayor a city council member a state representative they all have the ability to tap resources and they should be tapping resources to ensure that this is a, is as successful as you want it to be uh because you know this is a beautiful thing well think about this earlier today we did an event with three brothers that were wrongly convicted here oh. in philadelphia uh tony wright um, uh, Jimmy Dennis mm. and Terrence and Tony and Jimmy both spent 25 years in prison for crimes they had nothing to do with before Larry exonerated, exonerated them. them. Right. The city had to pay Tony 10 million dollars in a Sheesh. settlement. Sheesh. So let's talk about resources for a second, right? Right. right. So not only did it, the city have to pay Tony 10 million dollars in a settlement, the largest settlement for a wrongly convicted person in Philly's history. Yeah. It cost around 10 million dollars to prosecute Tony the first time mm. 25 years ago mm. to jail him for 25 years right, right. and then they try to prosecute him again and fail. Yes. They've spent about 25 million dollars 
to prosecute an innocent man. The city, I, we, our tax dollars, right. like, right. to think this park is operating with a zero budget. But you got when money the, for settlement. But the city yeah. has paid almost $25 million for, for yes. a man who didn't even commit that crime. Right. Same thing with Jimmy Dennis. They sent they sent Jimmy to death row. Mm. Jimmy was on death row for 25 and a half years. Wow. This brother was an R&B singer. Wow. This brother is like a sweet man. Right, right. He was on death row for 25 and a half years. Right. He hasn't even gotten his settlement yet. It'll probably be even more than Tony's. This city is spending tens of millions of dollars on police and prosecutor misconduct, mm. but we can't get trash cans at the right. park? Right, right. What, okay. we can't? He okay. can't get a, a staffers and a salary to, right. you know, like... To maintain yeah. a, a barbecue on hot dogs, you know. No, no. We it's only like, ask for do donations for hot dogs. But if, you, <laughs> if you're looking to try to keep kids engaged, out of trouble, that's right. uh, you got to give them things that they actually want to do. Yeah, yeah. that's what this is. And yeah. this is clearly somewhere they want to be, you yes. know. And, and it just, it, it feels good. Like when you walk up, it feels good, yes. you know. At yeah. the same time, this isn't nothing new. I mean, like like I said, I'll be 34, but this is like 1995 all over again. All we need is a grill, some waters, some music, Ooh. some skates, and we having fun. Like this isn't like this isn't rocket science. Rocket. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Families, this is a family reunion that we have almost every day. Yeah, yeah. that's it. You know what I mean? This, this ain't this ain't. It's nothing hard about that. Yeah. These kids want to exercise. Right. right. You know what I mean? And like feel safe. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it, it's character building, man. It builds leadership skills. You know what I mean? Some kids aren't 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 as you know vocal or you know aren't as physical as other kids playing football, basketball, soccer. Some kids just want to you know be the best that they can be. Yeah. When they roller skating, it's not like it's a competition. You know, yeah. try to keep your balance. Try to learn some things about yourself. Try to get good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some kids be out here. With, it was great till the early records come out. Yes. You all right, Babo? Yes. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. My son is crying, so something happened. Uh -oh. My son is crying, so something happened. What Tommy? What happened? I think my son did something, uh -oh. and he don't want her. And she he don't want her to tell. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And he don't want her to tell. Oh lord, this is every week. He don't want her to tell. Okay. Oh, she was touching on me. She pushed her. She pushed on me. She wanted him to. She asked him to. She what? She's touching on me. Well, yeah. That that's usually what happens. That's usually what happens. He, Hold on, wait. Can wait. you wait? Let her talk. She asked Dennis, he could push me. He said, can you please push me? He said no. And he started yelling at her. And she came and he started crying. Oh, because you ain't want to push her? But he no, said, no. She said, he I, said I, don't, I, I didn't want her to push me. Oh, oh, so you didn't, you wanted no, to push him? Oh, yo, look, he's scared. He don't like that. He don't like this one. Yeah, he don't like, he don't like being pushed. Like he's. He not like that. He not. He don't got that in him right now. Princess, yeah, he don't got that in him right boss now. Everybody around to do what you want. Them Tommy, to do. he he can't do that right now. He's not. Yeah. Yo, sure? like he start tip drilling once you. See, you know. I got, I got four that's not it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not them, that. It's not that you doing they something bad. Boss, yeah, he not ready boss. for that. Yes, exactly. Okay. So you, know, so you gotta. You know. You gotta. You gotta encourage it, brother. I had an idea. No. He don't. No, he don't. He don't want to be pushed on the swing. He not like that. Yeah, he don't. He don't want to have nothing. That he don't got no control of. Yeah, that's it. So y'all can run, jump, play, but don't push that man because he he gonna go into a nervous break. Okay, okay? All right. All right. Yeah. Go do your thing. Go back and play. All right. There you go. I just I texted the finance director of our organization, Grassroots Law. We want to tell you we have twenty five thousand dollars for you. So, yeah. so hold me, hold me to my word. Give us till Wednesday, we'll have that money in your account. We'll wire it to you, all right? We got you. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we, listen, listen, my challenge to everybody else is, just, just what Larry said, let's match that, all right? We'll start with $25,000. Let's hope and pray that other offices can match that. Let's see how you can open up and match that. So that $25,000, brother, is because of what we've seen here all day. It's beautiful, it's because of your leadership. So, yeah, you just give us a couple days and we got you, all right?
we got to empower our people right. at the end of the day and put resources in the hands of people like this brother who's actually doing something in the community to make change because nobody had to inspire him to get up and do it. He did it. And you put money in his pocket so that he can continue to grow. I don't want him to just have that part. He need this one too. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you turn this into an oasis for our people to be able to have place, place, community, you know?